Right, well, ladies and gents, it would appear that the Snyder bros, the people that were like, yes, restore the Snyderverse, you're all absolute idiots. Well, not all of you, of course, and I know there'll be a bunch of dislikes right now. Um, but review bombing another movie and then going, we've got a bone to pick with Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers didn't make Godzilla vs. Kong, you absolute plebs. How stupid can you actually be? What are you doing? It was made by Legendary. Warner Brothers literally just distribute it. The only thing you're hurting here is, one, what people think of your intellect, which, let's face it, is pretty, pretty low. But two, you're only hurting Legendary, um, which they don't deserve it. That's really dumb. And you, uh, wow. Yeah, there's so many things you hurt. You hurt your own cause. You look like idiots. I'm a loud. Um, so let's dive into it, ladies and gents. What's going on? Restore the Snyderverse. Uh, is something that has been massively prevalent all over the Twitter twatters. Uh, it's this thing now, of course, because people are like, Restore the Snyder Cut, and now they just keep banging on. They're like, Restore the Snyderverse. And unfortunately, these people are not the brightest, as evidenced by this, because they're now review bombing Godzilla vs. Kong and going, We need to stick it to Warner Brothers. And it's like, You are scum. Like, you really are. Like, most people have supported you. Most people have said, Yeah, no, cool, no worries. I didn't even like Snyder Cut, I thought it was shite. But even in my review, I said I'm really happy that the people that wanted it will get what they want. And for them, I'm, ha I'm over the moon. Now, good, crashes and burns, good. Because you're just being scum. You make yourself look like idiots. That's not cool, man. It's not cool at all. Let other people have their fandom as well. You don't need to sit here and, like, what are you doing? I just, ah! So let's have a look, right? Let's have a look. This is on IMDb, and again, like I say, this is how stupid they are. This is how stupid they are. They believe that hurting Godzilla vs. Kong and shouting Restore the Snyderverse is sticking something to Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers has a 25% stake in Godzilla vs. Kong. Not that much. Not that much at all. You, you want to know how to actually hurt them? Stop watching DC films. Why? Because that's the direct property that they own. And that they're managing, and that they are slating or turning away from the person that you, you know, you bow to, oh holiest of Snyder. <sighs> Hurting Godzilla vs. Kong just makes you look like a bunch of dickheads. And mark my words, you do look like a bunch of dickheads. Like, without a shadow of a doubt, you look like tits. So let's have a look, right? One star. Restore the Snyderverse. Restore the Snyderverse. Hashtag restore the Snyderverse. Hashtag restore the Snyderverse. Oh, and again, uh, restore the Snyderverse. Warner Brothers should restore the Snyderverse and release the air cut. Okay. This has been going on for like days as well, by the way. Uh, more, just restore the Snyderverse, restore the Snyderverse. Great movie. However, we have a bone to pick with Warner Brothers. The company that didn't even make it. You are idiots. You are so stupid. And it's literally just Restore the Snyderverse. Restore the Snyderverse, one star. This is the most vain movie in the world. Don't waste your money on this useless movie. I, I doubt you've watched it, let's be honest. Because you're just saying Restore the Snyderverse. What's that related to Godzilla vs. Kong? Uh, I wanted to see this so bad, but due to Warner Brothers' reluctance to Restore the Snyderverse, even after the massive success of hashtag Zack Snyder's Justice League, I've decided to boycott everything that's Warner Brothers. It's not Warner Brothers. This one's entirely on the morons at Warner Brothers. Pot cool and kettle black there, mate. Let's be honest. Uh, restore the Snyderverse. Karen Sarnoff. It's Anne Sarnoff. Look, I'm, the fact... Look. Maybe you're calling her a Karen. But also, maybe you're a dumbass and you actually think her name is Karen. I, I, I can't tell because you're review bombing a different movie that's not related to Warner Brothers. So your your intellect is massively in question here. Uh, and Sarnoff called us toxic for no reason. We will show we will show him what the real definition of the word toxic is. Ah yes, proving someone right. That is absolutely the correct way to go to win an argument, ladies and gents. Yes. We want the Snyderverse. Give Zach everything he wants now. Well, most people don't want it. Give us what we want. Restore the Snyderverse. Oh, yes. Because kowtowing to demands is definitely what people want. Yeah. Monkey versus Nuclear Lizard will be fun. 
I'm sure, but not as fun as seeing Warner Brothers restore Zack Snyder's vision for the DCEU. We want Justice League with the direction of Zack Snyder. Uh, restore the, uh, Literally, most of the one stars are just Restore the Snyderverse. Restore the Snyderverse. Restore the Snyderverse if making money is a, is a concern. Make the move. They only have 25% stake in this, you idiots. If making money is the concern, why are you hitting a movie that's got nothing really to do with them? If making money is a concern, make the movies that, that you know the fans want. Not many people wanted the Justice League. Let's be honest. Oh, you're so stupid. Oh, it's billions just waiting to be printed. Billions? Billions? Justice League as, as an overall movie concept has cost somewhere in the region of $700 million. Billions just waiting to be printed. No Zack Snyder movie currently has made a billion dollars. What movie has made from Zack Snyder has made a billion dollars? Like none. What are you talking about? Fuck me, people are so dumb. Uh, and it, again, it just keeps going like this. You don't have to have a silver bullet, but if you forge one, you don't need to depend on the kindness of Warner Brothers. Lex Luthor. Okay. People! Oh my god, you're so stupid! So anyway, this has been going on. It's, it's even over on... Um... <sighs> Uh, it's even been over here as well, I think. Uh, there was Rotten Tomatoes scores, if I remember rightly, or was it just IMDb? Uh, F Warner Brothers for Dark Side. Release the air cut and, rele and restore the Snyderverse. These people are so dumb. Um, no one's going to like you now. You you are... You are toxic. You've, you've had your movie. They never said they were going to do anything else. Just because you want them to do something else doesn't mean they're going to give in to your demands. They don't have to. You've got what you wanted. Now what? Where does it end? People are just going to keep demanding stuff, are they? Were you acting like petulant children? Uh, and again, like, let other people just be fans. Let other people enjoy the movie. You know, you just look like idiots. Because again, Warner Brothers has got nothing to do with Godzilla vs. Kong. They paid 25%. That's it. 25%. Nothing. Literally nothing at all. They would have already made it back. You're not hurting them, you're only hurting Legendary, and you're irritating other people, other fandoms, Godzilla vs. Kong, Godzilla fandoms, uh, and you are hurting your own repu rep reputation. No one's going to take you seriously now. Anyone with that hashtag can go and suck a fat one. You just look like total idiots. So anyway, scum, disavow, you're all assholes. There you go. I hope you never get the Snyderverse now. I genuinely do. Why? Because you didn't need to do this, you're just being dicks. Cheers.